She alive. You know, she alive. A father grateful that his daughter survived being shot on a playground. It happened this afternoon during a picnic outside a school in Calumet Heights. CBS 2's Dana Koslov has the story live from Chicago Police Headquarters. Dana. Erica, Chicago police say they caught the suspects about five minutes after they opened fire, and they are still talking with them this evening. But that doesn't ease the anger many are feeling tonight towards people who would open fire on a crowded school playground. Backpacks dropped, personal belongings scattered throughout the Warren School playground this afternoon. And when the gunfire stopped, these young students were left bleeding, shot during an end of the year school picnic. Everything is starting to hit her now, and, and she's. She's, she's ready to cry. Emerson Hart says his 13 year old daughter, Dakayla, was hit in the hand, the bullet going through it. It's distressing, it's aggravating, it's irritating, it makes me angry. Like, she in pain. Second grader Jayla Wright was also shot in the arm and leg. She's like, uh, yeah, daddy, uh, you here? You know, you're not going to leave me. I'm like, no, I'm not going to leave. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson says this all began when two former Warren grade school students came by the playground wanting to join the picnic. He says security said no. They left but began hanging out on a corner near the playground. That's when a car drove past and began shooting at the former students with apparently no regard to the packed school playground behind them. What did the kids on the playground do? They just all started running away from the gunshots. I tell you, it just makes me sick though. You know, these little kids are out here trying to have an end of the year picnic and they get shot. Really? That's not what we're about. School was dismissed and parents rushed to Warren to bring students home. Any student left without a parent at pickup was taken home by police. There is no person in Chicago who is not disgusted by that incident. Mayor Rahm Emanuel visited both victims' families at Comer Children's Hospital earlier today. Both of the girls have been released from the hospital, and no charges are expected against the suspects tonight. We are live outside Chicago Police Headquarters at 35th and Michigan. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Dana, thank you.